Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Dr. The Gamer, back again with another video. Now, I'm bringing you guys another Fortnite mobile update commentary based on the entire ban situation because you guys know there's pretty much hardly anyone keeping the mobile community updated with what you guys truly need to know about the situation. And today's video is another negative one. Now, guys, I, I don't want to be bringing you guys constant negative bad update videos, but there just really isn't much good information coming out about the situation with Fortnite mobile and how it's looking for the future so in today's video i'm gonna give you guys the brand new information and everything you need to know about the future of fortnite mobile and why it could take up to 10 years for the game to return as always if you guys end up enjoying today's video make sure you drop a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new maybe still a million subscribers you know trying to do that cool thing on youtube now for fortnite mobile it seems like there's just been like this black hole of information regarding you know everything in the lawsuit meaning there's just nothing i found it incredibly hard to get any sort of reliable news or information regarding the court case regarding the lawsuit because as you guys know epic games really hasn't been saying anything on the situation and on top of that, a lot of the news outlets, just, there just hasn't been many updates. And so there hasn't been a lot of coverage of this recently. And therefore, it's just really hard to get accurate information regarding the situation with, of course, Epic Games and Apple. But uh, just a few days ago, I got talking to a friend of mine uh, who's actually in a law school. He's been in law school for a few years now. And you're probably thinking to yourself, where is this going? Where in the world is this video going? But trust me, guys, just trust me, it gets crazy. Now, we ended up talking about the Fortnite and Epic Games lawsuit. Just bit generally know who th we think would win. And just discussing the current information on the case. But then I brought up a really interesting and not really talked about point when it comes to uh, this court case. Now, something really, really important you guys need to understand about this court case is that this court is happening in federal court. Now, I'm not a lawyer and I am not going to bore you guys with law stuff because I'm going to be honest, it's really hard to make law and just judges and courts to make it seem exciting for a YouTube video. So I'm just going to give you guys what's really important in this case, that Epic Games and the Apple lawsuit is being held in federal court. Now, as you guys know, the court case is finally coming to a close here in about a month. I've made a few videos on this so far talking about the current trial is set from May 3rd to May 8th. In these set days, Epic Games and Apple are going to, you know, they're basically going to give the judge all of their documents and they're going to try to prove their point. Epic Games is going to try to argue their side and then Apple is going to try to defend and, you know, of course, win it for their side. Now, where this gets really, really interesting and why I'm making today's video is because this lawsuit there is a pretty strong chance that it is not going to be over on may 8th now yes the trial is set to end on may 8th and there is going to be a decided winner on may 8th but there's something very special and particular about federal court and that's why i mentioned it earlier that this lawsuit is being held in federal court and not like a state court or something like that and the really interesting part about federal court is that when it comes to a ruling so let's say in this case apple wins epic games loses apple wins epic games can basically re-sue apple in a different court they could do what's called an appeal they could basically be like yo judge i'm gonna be honest you know we we thought we went we, we thought we had this one in the bag judge uh so we're gonna go to a different court in the united states and we're gonna do the exact same lawsuit and we're gonna see if a judge can give us the answer we want so that's called an appeal. So if Apple wins and Epic Games loses, Epic Games can appeal this decision by the court, basically saying, yo, we don't think you guys made the right decision. We're gonna appeal this and we're going to go ahead and try to basically re-win the lawsuit in a different part of the United States. Now, this, in my opinion, on its own, is a pretty unfortunate circumstance for Fortnite Mobile because let's think about it. So far, Apple, they're a $2 trillion company. They cannot lose this court case against Epic Games. Epic Games, the, the CEO is Tim Sweeney. Tim Sweeney has been so far the most vocal and advocate guy so far just about basically his hatred for Apple. I'm gonna be honest. He doesn't like Apple. And so Tim Sweeney also doesn't wanna lose this court case. So basically, whoever is decided the loser of this trial in May, uh, basically May 8th, whenever a winner and loser is decided, there is a huge, huge, huge possibility that the loser is going to file an appeal and they're basically gonna do this all over again. And so the way an appeal works is it could take anywhere from like four months to two years. You're basically redoing the lawsuit. You're literally 
copy pasting the lawsuit uh in a different part of the united states and you're trying to win it so uh it's deeming a lot harder than i thought to make it seem interesting but i'm just gonna cut to the chase the really sucky part and why it could take up to 10 years for mobile to come back for Fortnite mobile to come back on the app store is there are 11 different courts that epic games or apple can appeal this decision in so let's say hypothetically may 8th comes around you know apple wins epic games loses you know it's not looking good for tim sweeney he's really big mad and he wants his v buck prices to be discounted on ios so he goes to apple he's like yo we're gonna appeal this decision in a different court they they can do that 11 different times before they're out of appeals and before they have to accept the fact they lost to Apple. So it can take up to 10 years, according to my law school friend. And I'm making this video because I didn't understand this at all. I sort of had the idea that, yeah, you can like resue or yada yada, but we didn't really know the scope of this basically the the loser of this lawsuit can take up to 10 years of appeals before they have to finally accept their ruling and pretty much just come clean with the fact that that they lost so instead of us having a decided winner like i talked about before um when it comes to this lawsuit on may 8th someone is going to win and someone is going to lose i'm gonna i'm gonna say that right here someone is gonna be decided the winner and someone is gonna be decided the loser uh but it's basically the following days that are gonna be the most important for the future of fortnite mobile uh if epic games or apple decides to appeal the decision then most likely fortnite mobile is never coming back so far during this legal process and this legal proceeding both apple and epic games have spoken pretty much nothing of the entire issue fortnite mobile has got no updates we've got no communication no one at epic games will tell us what is going on with the game so if epic games decides to basically keep the lawsuit going until they win there is a really strong chance uh that fortnite mobile will not be able to come back on the app store and get the updates it needs until sometime in the very distant future now i also want to preface this entire video with the fact that none of this is guaranteed there's a good you know there is a chance uh that come may 8th epic games magically wins the, the court case and then um you know apple is like oh no you know we don't really care anymore and that's that uh, and, and, and Fortnite Mobile comes back in the App Store, Epic Games gets their, you know, payment processing system, and we all forgot this happened. But after talking to my buddy in law school, it sounds like that happening is pretty much a fairy tale, and Fortnite Mobile coming back directly after the court case is done uh, is just probably not going to happen. Also, talking to him, he in his mind uh he is pretty certain that apple is going to win this court case and after talking to him i can definitely see why as well and guys i'm not gonna bore you with the details it's a lot of legal mumbo jumbo and you guys aren't here for that you just got you you just want to know what's the outcome of all this and the outcome is it's not looking good for mobile not only is is epic games not looking like they're gonna win the lawsuit it's looking like if they lose the lawsuit which is probably gonna happen they're gonna spend the next you know two five ten years appealing this decision in federal court until they either run out of money uh for lawyers or they win so it's a very scary time for fortnite mobile and truthfully i'm making this video because i want to prepare you guys for the worst epic games uh and the community right now you know we we feel pretty good about this at, at least before i learned this information i felt pretty solid on the fact that fortnite mobile had a decent chance to return and honestly it, it you know it wasn't completely you know just ggs for fortnite on ios uh but after learning this information after learning how federal court works and how the appeal system works i'm scared boys i think there is a very strong chance fortnite mobile won't return this year and i think there's also a good chance fortnite mobile will probably never return to ios what i'm hoping for is epic games wins and then apple doesn't appeal probably not going to happen uh, also epic games could lose and uh they don't appeal so basically a winner is decided now the only thing we are pretty much waiting at this point is for the lawsuit and then to see if there are going to be appeals if i would have by just you know place a hundred dollars 
on something happening on May 8th or very shortly after, I would have to, to put my money on someone's going to appeal and Fortnite Mobile is uh, going to stay off the App Store until all the lawsuits are done and the appeals are done and the lawsuits are done. But once again, guys, I play video games for a living. It is my job to sit down and play this game. So do not take any of this as legal advice. Do not take any of this as this is going to happen. I am simply making this video to inform you guys of the possibilities that lay ahead of us with Fortnite Mobile. We have been in a literal black hole of information, like I mentioned before, where we don't know what's gonna happen. No one will tell us what's gonna happen. So we pretty much have to just decide and figure out for ourselves what the future of the game is looking like. And like I said, guys, it's just not looking good right now. I would love to be incredibly optimistic about this, but just give him the past of Fortnite Mobile, it's 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 truly hard to do that. But you know, uh, a gamer can hope, and it's not over till at least May 8th. That's what I'm waiting for, guys. If I were you, I wouldn't get too riled up about any of this. I would wait till May 8th, see what you know decision Epic Games and Apple both make. And who knows? We might be cranking 90s and iOS this May in just a month or so. But wow, that was clean. Really looking at the court case from an unbiased perspective, meaning, you know, just, just looking at the details, I'm pretty scared. I'm gonna keep making these update videos. I'm gonna keep giving you guys the information you need to know until things are settled. And like I said, this is the worst of the worst case scenarios that it takes, you know, years for the game to come back. We get no updates. We get no information and then it's just GG's for the game. But at the same time, like I said, May comes around, you know, who knows? We're cranking 90s. God, that was a freaking clip. Not the 250 to the dome. What the? But hey, there you go, boys. Gonna end it on a, on a ninja pawn pawn. Let's hope that Epic Games absolutely beats Apple in court and we're back cranking 90s. I hate to bring you guys these negative videos all the time, but really, I just keep learning more and more information I think you should know. And that's why I'm bringing you guys this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I explained the legal system in an entertaining way. And you guys had a fun time watching this Fortnite video because at this point, there's not much left I can do on Fortnite Mobile. And uh, with all that being said, I really hope we don't have to wait 10 years for the game to come back. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.